And we're back for a second day of shooting. The reason I'm doing this is because, like an idiot, I somehow managed to delete an entire file which had two ten-minute-long demonstrations of accessories that I filmed last night that I really think that you would have gotten a kick out of had you been watching. Well, as usual, um, I've got all of my accessories switched on and uh, I have the train ready to go and there's actually one feature that I did not show you regarding the train but which I think I will show you now I mean I'll, let me just zoom in and you, know, you can see the locomotive is right there I'll start it now I'll wait for it to come around to show you Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to operate the locomotive's bell. Well, that's the horn. See, I actually just uncoupled some cars there. So what we're going to do is reverse the locomotive. Because we do have automatic uncoupling. Oh dear. <laughs> The problem with automatic uncoupling is that it can be a little dicey at times. I think I accidentally hit the electromagnet right there. Sorry. Also, you can see that uh, the smoke fluid has had time to settle, so you can actually really see it smoke really nicely. Uh, now, let's get some of these accessories working. Uh, one of my favorite accessories, which I did not cover at all yesterday, hello, is this. It's actually called the Lionel Scrapyard. That is a uh, an F unit cab right there in New Haven Railroad livery. But it actually does something more, which I will show you right now. Because if you look closely... Wait, I just shut it off. Oh, boy. <laughs> Always during a demonstration, something goes wrong. Murphy's Law right there. Well, it's not cooperating. Um, this is a homemade accessory. It's actually in the prototype stage. It's called the scrap car. Uh, it's actually being cut up for scrap. Uh, Dad and I homemade this one. All we did was we just took an LED and a uh, Mark's welder figure. And... Congratulations, you have a guy cutting the boxcar apart from the inside. Fortunately, obviously he's not cutting the ends off, so he'll be okay. But uh, we do make our own accessories uh, now and then. And this, uh, this caboose is going to be one of our next projects. This is a Lionel milk station. Uh, you actually have a milk car that goes onto this track, which can actually eject milk cans onto this. 
and I'm actually probably going to show that to you in the second video, not this one. Uh, let me just turn on one of my f favorite accessories right here. There we are. Um, get a little action going, you know. So, oh yes, I know. Uh, this is, oh, I know what I forgot to show you. See these two airplanes up there? This is what's called the World War II dogfighting pylon. And it just disconnected, but there we are. On one side, you see a North American P-51D Mustang, and on the other you see a Mitsubishi A6M50, uh, Allied reporting name Zeke. So we actually have two aircraft dogfighting. That's a pretty fun one. We keep that over the military base, obviously. And I'll just shut that off. But, uh, you know, it's just a really, really fun accessory. Now, here's another fun one. Uh, and actually, this is kind of Lionel's penultimate, because there actually is an ultimate one. I would call it their penultimate Space Age accessory. 1960, Lionel's CEO was a former general in, I think, the U.S. Air Force, and he wanted to put in a bunch of Space Age stuff. So what we're going to do is just take this ICBM, I guess it is, or maybe IRBM, Intermediate Range Ballistic Missile. It's a little small for an ICBM. And what we're going to do is move the gantry so that it is directly over here. Now what we're going to do and as you can see you actually manually lower the missile onto the little track right there, but for some reasons of simplicity, I'm just going to set it down, uh, that and brevity, but, um, oh, oh dear, that was not supposed to fall, uh, sorry about that, but, anyway, Back to the gantry right there. We just moved the gantry out of the way now. Now what we do is, as you can see here, we actually have a countdown timer, which, and you can adjust trajectory and stuff. That's a little countdown timer. And again, this is Lionel in the Space Age. Fire! And that went very, very far. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't know where the body of the missile actually went. So... <laughs> I took my eye off it for a second, and oh, there we are. I'll just keep uh, the camera up here, and because uh, it really fell, it really went a decent distance, especially considering. Uh, but you know, it's back there. Okay, we've got about a couple of seconds left, so I'm just gonna close this one down. Maybe focus on the locomotive.